WrestleMania starts off with 15 simultaneous leg drops by the Dallas Cowboy cheerleaders. Boo Dallas. Boo, Boo Dallas. Dallas. Boo, Boo Dallas. Dallas. We are Giants fans in this house here with Attack Slug, Rod and Todd. There he is. Quarantina. And we are here watching WrestleMania. Full reactions to night one, all the matches. And some of you may be here wondering about what's going on with Donna. I texted Jim, her husband, earlier today. He never responded to me. And we actually made the decision to not watch WrestleMania at my house to watch it here. Just so we don't cause any more problems with what's going on. But we did film today. And we'll show you that. Probably like on Monday or something. But tonight, it's WrestleMania, and Boogs is starting things off. Boogs. So let's boo. No, no. Let's do. No. Let's boo. I would say boogs. <laughs> yeah. Let's boogs this. Dude, I think boogs. boogs. He's legit hurt. Yeah, he's boogs legit just hurt. got legit now, hurt. Uh, and it did. All right. So, so Boogs and Shinsuke take on the bloodline, the Usos. And for the tag titles, and at one point, Boogs had both Usos up on his back, and then his knee gave out. It looked to me like it was like, oh man, his knee gave out. But you know, Slug was like, oh, yeah. that's part of the story, part though. Of the story was the leg. And I was like, okay, you're right. Maybe you're right. Maybe. But then he just didn't come back. Oh, yeah, no. and then right, yeah, no, he's no, he's just, he's deaf hurt. He's done. Oh no. Damn. Yeah, Shinsuke goes, hey, man, there goes everything we were building. Yep. Damn. That, sucks. that does yeah. suck. Hot new Boogs. Gear, though. I loved yeah. their gear. Yeah. Shinsuke had lit ass gear. They look like like the sun, like batteries or something. Feel that alcohol. <laughs> yeah, Mike's harder lemonade. Yes, Cheetos. Cheetos. Oh, I love Cheetos. Do we have Cheetos? We could we, have we could have had Cheetos. Had Cheetos. We There's about no it. Cheetos. So the bloodline retains. We don't know what would have happened. They clearly had to change that yeah. ending. Of the match, yeah. I don't know what's gonna happen now. There's a there. There's definitely a scramble. Is Butch gonna be here? I Butch. Yes. Yes. What about Luke? No. A different Luke, butch? no, different Butch. Oh. This is new Butch, butch. not old yes. Butch. I thought we were talking about the Bush Bosch. I don't know if you've seen the, the pre show. Xavier butch, Bosch, and Bitch. Bosch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Xavier Woods, Butch, Bosch, and Bitch. Pretty good. When Drew McIntyre versus Happy Fappy Foreskin started, <laughs> I said, Does anybody have any doubt in their mind that Drew McIntyre is going to win this match? And everybody's like, No, it's like a foregone conclusion. And then even Mad Fat Moss. Was like distracting Baron Corbin. I'm like, what is happening here? But in the end, Drew McIntyre just wins the match after successfully kicking out of the end of days. Of the, end of days. For the first time. First time ever that anyone's ever kicked out of the end yep. of days. And, and he was talking about it before yeah. that match. He's like, nobody's kicked out end of days. He hits it, it's over. Yeah. But, but no. No. Nope. He kicked out and Foreskin freaked out. How about that amazing top rope leap? Yeah. Drew McIntyre goes on a big dive over the top, top rope to the outside, onto Mad Cat Moss and Baron Forskin. The dude's not a cruiserweight. He's a heavyweight. What is this dude doing diving over the top rope Undertaker style? I don't know. It was all right. It was a pretty good match. Like, there's nothing bad you can say about it. Wait, here comes Mad Cap trying to come after Drew, but Drew's pointing a sword at him. I'll cut your bloody head off, I will. Sluggo oh, jinxed so it. So he went to go chop. Don't cut the rope. We need the rest of the night. Why did you say that? You jinxed it. There's uh, me in a moment. <laughs> Drew McIntyre just went after Mad Cat Balls with his sword and chopped the ropes off as he went to go chop. We have like five <laughs> matches to go. And what happened? We're going to have no ropes matches. <laughs> this was insane. Chop. Oh. He just chopped amazing. through the ropes? Yeah, sure. How did they gimmick it like that? I don't know! First of all, I thought it was a prop! That's not a prop, that's a real sword! Yeah, they couldn't have been gimmicked. They couldn't have been gimmicked because they worked the whole match! Yeah, you couldn't bounce off gimmicks. How do you chop the ropes like that? You can't chop the ropes. Listen, WWE production is second to none. Whoa, look at this girl simping on Drew! Yo, if a dude touched Sasha Banks like that, it'd be over. Jail time. That girl was just like... Ah. She was all over Drew. I mean, I'm sure he doesn't mind. I think but, like licking the sweat off her. <laughs> but again, if, if, you know, some fat virgin fuck did that to Charlotte, jail time. Wow. All right, so uh, if Mad Cat Moss is turning on Happy Corbin, does that mean we have to fucking bear witness to that shit feud? Yeah, for like six months. Ugh. Cue the ring crew. Yeah, get, get, the, get the ring crew out here, <laughs> goddammit. What the fuck?
I told you. <laughs> I told you celebrities win a mania. Celebrities have to win a mania. I said, well, the celebrity team doesn't have to win a mania. Logan Paul and the Miz, they don't have to win. The Miz can take the pinfall and they can lose. Now, first of all, how could you even tell that Logan Paul was a celebrity? He fit right the fuck in. Yeah, the fair. gear was on point. Pikachu colors. He's got the most rarest Pokemon card yep, that's uh -huh. ever existed on his chest. Mm -hmm. He's got better gear than half the roster. And then he wrestled half better than half the roster. Yeah, true. How, I, I would love to hate on Logan Paul, but I can't. That was fantastic. It cost us money, goddammit. He did cost, cost us money. money. He got us demonetized years and years yeah. ago with that goddamn Suicide Forest shit. Wait a minute, oh, the Miz is turning on Logan Paul! What? <laughs> the Miz, after being victorious That's great. with Logan Paul in an amazing match against the Los Gringos. Wait, did that name his face now? Logos Gringos, I mean. Is he a face or, the, or is he a heel? The, the, no, he's an extra heel. Now, Logan Paul just turned baby face. Nah, boo, fuck that. Nah, boo, fuck that. <laughs> that match slapped as hard as yes. fuck. What was that? Titty slapper. I'm mad at him because he was trying to steal my thunder with the, yeah. the bling. I, I'm <laughs> yeah, she with, wears her Ethereum. I got my big Ethereum coin in the plastic case. Because she's got an Ethereum girl. In the plastic casing. <laughs> Come on, Ethereum girl. <laughs> Logan Paul was doing Eddie Guerrero shit, okay? He was up there doing Lucha La Raza stuff and the, the big frog splash from Eddie Guerrero. Yes. That was great. And he did it good. Yeah, he did it good. That's that, that's the important part. I'm you sorry. I think I think Logan Paul's my new favorite wrestler. You had to do it. That was today. good. Is is that allowed? Fuck it, I'm allowed. I can like Logan Paul. It's, it's like a new Logan Paul two point yeah. or something. Like, like he cost me money. I want to feud with the fucker. He's go. not the same though. <laughs> okay, so Stephanie McMahon comes out looking like a goddamn train wreck. I'm wondering what the hell happened to her. This big puffy blue pantsuit. And she introduces the NCAA whatever the fuck champion, Gable Steveson, and this son of a bitch comes walking out in Walmart clothes. I'm supposed to be hyped for this dude? Okay, you won some gold. And Can you at least present yourself like somebody I'm supposed to cheer for? He was already drafted to Raw. It already happened. He got drafted to Raw. We know this. Did we? Yes. I, it's a fashion disaster. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> flop of a debut. I hope they do the same thing with him that they did with Kurt Angle. Make him a friggin' uh, white meat baby face that we can all hate. <laughs> and then he gets over by us chanting that you suck. Well, that's yeah. what they started with The Rock. And, the, and Kurt Angle. The Rock did it first. The Rock did it first, you're right. This is it, Bianca's gotta win. One, two, three, yes! Bianca Belair has just defeated Becky Lunch for the Raw Women's Championship. What a full year of long-term storytelling. This matchup culminated in a long and grueling match that was incredible in many ways. It, Becky Lynch tried to start it off and end it quick with the manhandle slam. And then, no, the KOD by Bianca at the start, but no. Then it went on for a while. But it was good, right? It was good. It wasn't, yeah. it's not like it got slow, it got boring. It was just long. story. I told a real good story. Their whole feud. Yeah. From her winning it last year at WrestleMania to losing in 30 seconds at SummerSlam to making it all the way back to WrestleMania to win the belt again. This is why when shit happens at SummerSlam, you can't get too mad about it because look at the payoff. At WrestleMania, there she is, Bianca Belair standing tall. She won that belt in back-to-back WrestleManias. Back-to-back WrestleManias. It's a, it's a great freaking story. How can you complain about that? Well, somebody will always complain about it. Cause... It's the internet. What are you going to do? Right. Well, whenever anybody complains, I say, okay, so what would you have done at your WrestleMania? Oh, wait, you don't have one. <laughs> oh, what a shame. <laughs> Banger match, though. That was really good. And we still got three more matches. I have a feeling... Plus Stone, plus Stone Cold. Yes. So four, really. Yes. And wait, when Cody's thing was going to happen. That's tonight, isn't is it? Is it going to be Cody? I think it's going to be Cody. I don't think it's not going to be. Not be Cody. I'm going to let down. I'll prepare for a letdown. Doohop thinks it's going to be The Undertaker. Yeah, <laughs> say never, say never he did night. say never, say yeah. never, right. So, guys, it hasn't happened yet. Look, you can clearly see Bianca Belair is on the screen. Yeah, hasn't, hasn't happened, happened yet. yet. We didn't. We're, 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 I'm saying it's Cody, as I'm going to say it, if I could be wrong. Cookie Monster's been skinned, and he is being worn by Rollins. It's Cookie freaking Monster. <laughs> All right, here we go. Who's it going to be? Rollins. It's going to be Shane McMahon. So Shane McMahon's going to come out and say, you're going to face Cody Rhodes. Here it is. We're waiting for the music to hit. It's going to be a letdown. Right? 
I can't really see your head. There you are. <laughs> Cookie freaking monster. <laughs> Come on. Announce who it is. The suspense is killing me. <laughs> oh, that, that was the left. worst. Left. Bro, they should, that, I feel like that should have been Ellsworth. Ellsworth standing in the crowd, right, ha, with some fries and a drink. Yes. You, right? Come on! It's been 48 seconds, motherfuckers! You want cookie? Hit somebody's music. I want to dress like cookie. Next time, I want to be Cookie Monster. <laughs> R, R is for Rollins. That's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, Rollins, they're making us wait, too. Whoa. He threw his Cookie Monster coat. Wait a minute. Here comes fireworks all the way up the stage. Whoa. Whoa. It's only smoke and mirrors. Right? Wasn't that his music? That was, yes. Dash and Cody Rhodes. <laughs> I want Dash and Cody Rhodes back. Hmm. It's the feet. It's the feet. It's, like, it's oh, black. It's whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. I'll okay. shit. No I will way. shit right here on your couch. <gasps> Everybody's got their lights on. Cody has the same entrance thing, though. What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Yeah. He has the whole throne thing that comes up. It's the feet! It's the feet! Relax, relax. That's Cody. That's Cody? That's his, that's his thing. Oh, yeah, I seen it. I just seen this logo. It's Cody. Oh. Yes. It's Cody Rhodes. I wanted to Come on. <laughs> all right, well, that's what we all thought. It's Cody Rhodes. All right, Cody Rhodes versus Seth Rollins. Let's go. Cody Rhodes just did the Stardust shit. The yeah. fucking goddamn cartwheel and everything. He did the Stardust shit. What a long and grueling match. Cody Rhodes predictably <laughs> takes the win. A half hour later with not one, not two, but three crossroads with a little bit of Dusty Rhodes daddy bionic elbow bullshit in between. That was a banger, though. That was a really good match. That was the best match of the night so far. Amazing. By far. Am I right or wrong? Yeah. No. That was great. The fuck? What, what match did you watch? Okay, okay. Everybody else was like, eh, eh. I was tired. Tired old men. I thought it was awesome. I thought it was the best match of the night. That was the fucking match of the night. An important match. That was the most important match in AEW history. Mm -hmm. What? 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 Cody Rhodes is the first AEW defectee. Cody Rhodes is the motherfucker who started AEW. For him to come back to WWE, make that amazing, epic entrance on stage, have an incredible banger at WrestleMania, and fucking win? Sends a message to anybody in AEW who says, well, baby, I want to go to WWE. WWE wants to treat you right if you got the talent like Cody. Now... Seth Rollins hit him in the back of the head during the match. He said, welcome back to the big leagues, bitch. You know, a little bit of a troll, which I thought was badass. But, dude, Cody had his music. Cody's got his entrance, his robe. Everything about his entrance was... His neck tattoo? Not his wife, though. <laughs> no brandy. Yes, thank but, God. hey, that, listen, that might happen eventually. That was incredible. I enjoyed every second of that. Awesome to see Cody back. And you know me, I'm a fan of both. I don't, I'm not going to... You know, I'll call that bullshit in either one, and I'll say either one is cool. I love WWE and AEW. Think uh, Cody's happy right now? I think so. I think How so. How many zeros is the question? Right. <laughs> you know, and, 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 you know, I mean, not for nothing. AEW is awesome. I'm not trying to shit on it, but they're not doing stadium shows like this in front of 70K. There's no feeling like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> These guys are getting tired over here and everything, and they're like, no, 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 too bad. You're getting the full Undertaker entrance. Hall of Fame inductee intros, all of that. We still have two matches and the Austin KO show thing, and it's like 11 o'clock. People are pissed. We're people, especially these old fuckers, they want to go to bed. For me, it don't matter. Yeah, but, but, but I, I wake up at the crack of 2.30 p.m., so. <laughs> the thing is, you guys whistling the Undertaker's theme, to me, iconic. <laughs> 37, motherfucker, hurry it up. Ronda Rousel and Fartlet Flair have been fighting forever. And it's been boring and slow and plotting. And they just censored the screen for some reason. I think Charlotte's camel toe hopped out of her panties. She's got Victoria's Secret. <laughs> but this match is long and grueling. And grueling being the key word. Why won't it end? And it hasn't even been good. They have the worst chemistry. We went from the best match to the worst match. Or maybe I'm just tired. 
I don't know. Oof. Charlotte Flair just got flopped on the floor by Ronda. Just end! That was the finish? Spear to the ref! What, what, what Somehow, happened? Ronda Rousey threw Charlotte into the ref, and the ref got speared yeah. out of, like, a monkey flip or something, well, right? That was pretty cool. It was cool. Yeah. So little Nate goes down. Yeah. And then but Ronda he Rousey... He screwed up the count. Yeah, Robinson screwed up the count when when Ronda, right, pinned Charlotte. Yeah. And Charlotte got her foot on the ropes. On the ropes yes. And then he counted one, two, three, and then it was like, no, 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 no. And Ronda was like, I won, I won, bitch. But nope. So then all of a sudden, the ref is out. Now Ronda Rousey wraps up Charlotte. Charlotte's tapping out. There's no yeah. ref. She goes to pick up the ref. And she's like, come on, ref, come on, ref. Charlotte comes with a big boot out of nowhere and pins Ronda. Finish. That was it. Okay. Long and grueling. They could have shortened that match by about 45 minutes yeah. and done the same finish, and it would have been just as good. It was a good spear, though. It was a good spear to the ref. I thought it would have been good sell. Yeah. Good sell. I thought it would have been better booking if little Nate somehow screwed Ronda yeah. out of the, the finish. Long term booking. Nate, your boy. Little Nate. But overall, that was a fucking horrible match and the worst match of the night. The ending was good. That's, the main event. That's it. Time for Austin. Yes. They cut the Butch Bitch and Bash match. I guess that'll probably be on the pre-show tomorrow, I hope. They're showing the card for tomorrow night, and I'm like, I can't believe I have to watch more WrestleMania tomorrow night. Yeah, but then it would have been 16 hours one night. We start at 3 p.m. and be up till 4 a.m. Like, it's too much. It's too much. We don't need 47 matches. I need to see Bobby Lashley versus Omos. No. I want to see WrestleMania... One night, three hours, best of the best. Not everybody needs to be booked, bitch, okay? But if it's two nights, make each night three hours. Yeah, why Why are we already traveling on after 11 p.m.? You know Stone Cold's going to talk for 40 minutes. What, 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 bottom line, what? And this is with a match that got cut. Yeah, they so, cut a match. They cut a match. Right, the Bush bitch and fucker match got why, cut. Why did we need a two-hour pre-show? With no matches. No matches. Yeah. <laughs> Some, somehow they're a billion dollar company. I don't know. It just, it just happens. Physically, that happens. How exciting is Stone Cold Steve Austin's first match after 19 years? <laughs> Ask Rod. As <laughs> he's asleep. It would have been more exciting two hours ago. It's <laughs> midnight. Come on. <laughs> so Kevin Owens comes out. He's like, blah, blah, blah. Stone Cold comes out on an ATV. I'm Stone Cold, blah, blah, blah. And Kevin Owens just proceeds to run down Texas and say that Stone Cold is old, broken, battered, and can't fight, but he wants a fight. And Stone Cold, of course, goes into the typical, if you want to see old Stone Cold beat Kevin Owens ass, give me a hell yeah. And of course, everybody gives him the hell yeah that he wanted. And now here we are having a match. No holds barred. To be fair to Kevin Owens, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. He's not wrong. So Kevin Owens is setting up a table. I yeah. thought when they would have this match that it would be kick, beer to the face, yes. thunder, and be yeah. over. No. They're actually working. They're actually having a match. Yeah. It's 1149 at night. Not a great match. <laughs> Stone Cold puts Kevin Owens through the table as I am yawning. And it's, it's I don't know, it's kind of sad. Like, Stone Cold is not. It's like every indie show. Yeah. We get an old timer. We get the old, right. That's okay, yes. It's the nostalgia act, the yeah. nostalgia tour. It's I'm getting the Stone Cold 20 years later who can't move like he yeah. used to. And, get the young guy to bump for him. And, right, know. get the young guy to bump for him. It's every indie show. Right, every yeah. indie show. Every indie show. Mm. I don't know. It's kind of sad. It, right, it's a match. It's been okay. It's not good. Did Stone Cold just take a suplex on the fucking concrete? I need to feel again. What? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, what the, uh, what I'm saying? Why would he bump on concrete? Too stupid. Bump is taking a, a wrestling slam. Is he going to take a reverse pile driver next? What? On stupid? the concrete. On the concrete. What the fuck, Stone Cold? Honestly, I'm just mad now that we didn't get Stone Cold to see on Bump 10 years ago. Right. That should have happened. Right. And, and, and we literally cut the camera and he's like, he's like, even though it's not a great match, I'm having more fun than Ronda Rousey versus yeah. Riley. I mean, and then also we cut the camera and then the yeah. Stone Cold like starts on bumping concrete. on concrete. <laughs> Hurry. 
<laughs> hurry! I swear to God, if that shuts off. I had 18 seconds. What's, what's the big hurry? Because it said, are you still watching? That's how long we haven't had to tend to the television. Oh. Oh, my God. Kevin Owens just hit the ropes with a chair that Stone Cold dug to bounce back, hit him in the head. Austin kicked out of a stunner. Austin with a stunner of his own. To KO and two, three, and mercifully, one WrestleMania is one over one with to one spare. minute to spare. Oh. Eleven fifty nine p.m. You pricks. Stone Cold returns and wins in his final match against KO. Uh, I I don't know. I guess WrestleMania was pretty good. It wasn't great. It's only half over. It's only half over. <laughs> we have to watch more of it tomorrow. But, guys, let me know in the comments below what you thought of the show. I want to read all your comments, and I will read them and react to them and all that shit. I appreciate you guys watching my reactions. Please like the video, leave your comments, subscribe for more. And if you're not down with that, we got three words for you. Eat it. Yeah. Stone Cold drinking? Here you have 20 years of, of them trying to get wrestlers to stop being drunk during matches. And Stone Cold just comes back and is like, I'm going to drink six beers during my match. What? Now, every indie guy will be able to be like, yeah. well, hey, Stone Cold got drunk during his match at WrestleMania, so who the fuck are you to tell me what to do? And why the hell does Corey Graves look like well, the fucking well, Riddler? Why are the cops there?